How can I get one hat to be more than just one hat? One hat with different designs. One hat that seems like a bunch of hats. Let's do it. What is up everybody? Alan Wade here and I'm excited about today's video because I've been waiting to do this for a long time and I've already actually tried one. Today we're going to be using our X tool to cut out some Velcro patches. As, as you guys can see, I already cut one out and um, it cuts out fine. My first attempt, I didn't burn any hole in the bottom of the X tool like I normally do, didn't etch inside of it. That's partially because I'm using the prisms, but um, this is going to be a great tutorial um, for you, those of you guys who have the X tool or think about getting the X tool. This is something else that you can do with it to help solidify, verify, validate, validate your purchase. Um, so, yeah. Velcro patch. This I think is called the hook side, and we got a loop side. But this is like the fuzzy side, not the sticky side, but the fuzzy side. And what are we gonna do with this? Stick around, and you'll find out. But let's set up our X tool. So right now I'm just gonna set this up by opening the top of the X tool. You guys can see all where I got previous things burnt. We're not doing that anymore because we're using these risers right here to separate the bottom from the top. I should have been using those from the beginning, but it's okay. Better late than never. I'm just folding it a little bit to make sure it like stays flat. Then I'm gonna lay this on top of here. All right, and I'm gonna cut out several circles, several circles. See, I got one cut right here. I'm gonna cut several more circles out of this uh, the back side of this Velcro right here. All right, so I close this up. And when I close it up, it takes a picture on the screen of what I have inside of here um, on the x software. I want you guys to take a little notice of what I did right here. I got my DTF station um, air purifier and I just looped it around and I have it going into the back of the X tool, kind of like to suck out the air because uh, X tool did not provide me with the air purifier, but I'm using the one for my DTF printer. So uh, this should, should be just as good, all right? And I got it cranked up all the way to 40. All right, this is a great unit right here. It's gonna help me stay healthy while I'm using this laser cutter. All right, so let's dive into the software. So guys, the Xtool software is really, really easy to use. I'm getting more and more familiar with it as I use it. And right now, for something, for material that you don't necessarily know the settings to, what I did was I just highlighted the circle that I made. And let me, let me show you guys how I made the circle, as a matter of fact. So I'm just gonna delete it and I'm just gonna come over here and insert where it says insert right here. I'll just hit circle and then I just held down shift because if you don't held, hold down shift, it's gonna give you an unproportioned circle. So I just um, hit insert, went down the circle, held down the shift key and made a proportional circle. And while that was highlighted, I want it to be two inches tall by two inches wide. So I just put it on two inches press enter and then it maintained its proportion right there so I can select the circle right here and I can move it on top of my velcro you can barely barely see your velcro thing in the background here but you can see it all right so now that I have this selected I want to do several cutouts so I'm gonna hit array right here grid array and I, um, rows I'm gonna hit zero rows and across I'm just gonna hit like five and then the spacing in between them i'm just going to increase that a little bit so they have some space in between them and we're going to cut out a whole bunch of these um of these uh circles right here guys all right let me let me just put um actually you know what it shouldn't matter that should be enough spacing in between each of them so i'm going to hit okay right there and um right here I have it set on brown craft paper, right? Brown craft paper. I have the triangle prisms inside of the X tool, so I'm gonna leave that um, selected, and I'm gonna hit auto measure. Hit auto measure, and the machine does whatever it does. It measures the thickness of the material that I have in there, and right there it gave me something that says 2.6, right, 0 0.26, and I know I'm not sure. I think I got to highlight all of them for it to um, for it to cut all of them. So I'm just going to highlight all of them and make sure I have cut. And right now, um, okay, this is interesting because 
I don't think it had this specific power set up last time. Um, let me see something. If I select this one, just one brown craft paper. It's interesting that it's giving me that high power for brown craft paper, but I'm just going to go ahead and let it process and see what happens. All right, so one. I'm going to select all of them. Matter of fact, can I hit Command A? Yeah, you can hit Command A and select everything. All right, so that's handy right there. So now I'm going to hit Process. It's at 100% power, and the speed is at 120 uh, millimeters per second. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Process on the screen right here. It says less than one minute to cut all one, two, three, four, five circles. I'm going to hit Framing. And the machine tells me to, on the screen, it tells me to uh, push this button right here so it can frame. So I push that button, and inside the X tool, it just goes along the area where it plans on cutting, right here. All right, I don't like the way one edge of it is, is um, up right here, so I'm just gonna interrupt it for a second and push that down. All right, and that's cool. All right, so all right, it canceled the task. That's okay. I'm gonna hit done. And I'm going to have to select all again. I'm going to process. Wait, wait, wait. Cancel. So I don't think I had cut um, selected. Yes, cut is selected. Um, auto measure. Everything's fine. Um, process. All right. Framing once again. Uh, I'm going to hit the framing button right here. It tells me to flip, press that button. And press it. It's going to do its thing. All right. This thing is really, really easy to work with right so now that framing is completed I, I click the framing complete button and then I hit the start button and then on the screen it tells me to push that button so it can start but I want you guys to see it cut so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, move the camera over here so you guys can watch it cut so you guys should be able to see right there our strip so I'm just gonna push the button right now and let's see what happens there's a laser movement in place you see it straight cut one out real fast Another one out, another one out. See how fast this thing is cutting. I'm just hoping it actually cut something out. Look at this, it's moving kind of fast. And just like that, it is done. Wow, wow. All right, so let's open it up and see what happens. Uh, I do see some stuff. I'm gonna let it air out a little bit because I smell some smells over here. So let's open it up and see what we got here. All right, um, it actually looked like it didn't cut through that time. And it didn't. This is really weird because the first time it cut through, as you guys can see, but this time it just it just cut through a little bit, but didn't cut through all the way. And I'm a little upset because it seems like these might be ruined, but I'm going to try to cut it again because we got to find the right cut settings for this. And that was obviously not it. So let's try again because that didn't work. All right, guys, I think I know what I did wrong this time versus last time all right first of all the power was turned all the way up but it was going too fast and what i did look at the software right here what i did was i don't think i had anything i think i had score selected i'm not yeah i had score selected see when you have score selected if you notice right here you just get 100 percent and that speed right there but if i press cut i get different settings power is at 40 and the speed is at 15 versus at score the speed was at 120, so it's going over that area really, really fast, too fast to cut through. But when I hit cut, it's gonna go over there a lot uh, slower. So let me go ahead and do what I did before. I'm just gonna select this, and I'm just gonna hit array again, grid. I'm just gonna take away that. One, three, five right there. I'm gonna space it out again. I'm gonna space it out to one, uh, zero, zero, that's, too much so let me go 0 0.8 um oh 0 0.4 all right let me do a little bit less than that because i think that's always the end 0 0.2 all right that should suffice let me do 0 0.15 how about that all right all right, we'll try that. We'll try that. All right, so now I'm gonna select all. All right, and now I have cut selected, and that's where I messed up before I didn't have cut selected. I'm gonna hit process. All right, 
and I'm gonna hit framing. Push the framing button right here. And this time when it cuts, you're gonna notice that it goes a lot slower. So let me show you guys again. Let me reposition the camera because it is done framing. Framing completed. Now I hit start. Only thing left to do is push this button right here, guys. So uh, let's let's check this out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna press the start button right here. Here we go. See how much slower that laser is going over there? It's going over a lot slower. It's taking a little bit more time, but it is in fact cutting through that uh, velcro. At least I think it is. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got now. Definitely cut through it. I can tell you all that much. All right, so if you guys can see the circles right here of all of the, and see where it scored versus where it cut, and yeah, this is the one that we cut already, and yeah, you guys see that it cut through this time. All right, so now all we gotta do to get our circle out is we pretty much just punch it, because it kind of created like a perforated line, which is cool, so we pretty much just punch it out which is cool right here. It's kind of like a, you create a sticker. So now I got these little circles and I can sew them on to the front of hats. How cool is that? Yes, and guess what I can do with the other side? I can embroider out a circle design and I can Velcro different designs onto the front of my hat now. So let's sew this onto a hat and test it out. All right, y'all, so I got this hat right here, and I got this patch right here, this circular patch right here, and I'm just gonna sew it to the front of this right here with my Iconics, my Iconics KS810. All right, so yeah, uh, I'm new to this, but it's okay. I got it all set up and ready to go. I'm just gonna raise the foot right here, and I'm gonna put this hat underneath here. I'm gonna place my patch on top of the hat. What what would help out a lot, to be honest, is if I had um, is if I had like something to stick this in place while I was sewing it. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna um, we're just gonna center it out with our eyeballs right here, and we're just gonna go in on it. So I'm just gonna spin the wheel on the sewing machine just to get the thread to penetrate. I'm gonna come up and now I'm gonna slowly slowly put my foot on that presser foot and just turn because it's got this wheel on here but like I said I'm just getting used to this so mm. all right nice and easy The main thing about this is control. I might do a little back stitch. All right, and we're good to go. All right, then bring this up. And I can push my foot thing to the side, and I can bring this off. I think, yeah. All right, so we're good to go. We have just sewed on the patch to the hat. So guys, check this out. We are good to go. We have just sewed on our first circular Velcro patch to the back of the hat. I had the sweatband down, so I didn't sew on the sweatband. Nice, perfect circle right there on the machine. Just, just test, check my stitching right there, and it is on there nice and good. Nice. Now I can go ahead and embroider different circular shapes, right? different shapes and um, well different circles I can embroider and or it doesn't even have to be a circle it could be a patch like this I can embroider it I can put some velcro on the back and I can stick it to the front of the hat and I can have interchangeable designs for this hat how dope is that how dope is that there you go guys hope you guys feel what I'm talking about right here right now we got a blank velcro patch on this hat so now we can take the other part of Velcro. We can make we can make our design, embroider our patch out on our embroidery machines, right? 
and now we can take the other part, the hook part, I think this is the hook or the loop, I forget, but we can take the other part of the Velcro and after we embroider our design out, we can sew the back of the other part of the Velcro on there and now we can have interchangeable designs to put on our hats. Give me a like, give me a comment down below. I'm gonna make some patches. Um, if you guys want a hat with a Velcro patch on it, holler at your boy. We're gonna be coming out with some stuff very, very soon. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, I got some other ideas with this bad boy too. I don't get stuff just to, I get stuff because I have vision. I, have, I envision things being done with it. And um, this <laughs> clutch, baby, clutch along with my X-Tool. Guys, if you are in the market for a laser cutter to start off, um, I highly, highly suggest the X-Tool. Use my X-Tool affiliate link down in the description below to purchase your X-Tool. Use my Recoma shop link if you guys want to get yourself an industrial sewing machine. And I think we might have something else coming. I'm not sure, but I'll keep you guys posted. But let me know what you guys think about this right here. I think this is dope. Um, opens the door to a lot of different opportunities different potential but um guys just give me my credit just give me my credit i know you guys are going to run off and do this and create million dollar businesses off of this idea right here but uh just give me give me just 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 tell them you saw it here first right all right like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video thank you for watching peace turn up that crank it up why listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby?